Okay, uh, and lastly, on the power play here, we're going to talk about uh, our four on three setup. Um, again, like the five on three, this rarely, rarely happens in a game, but um, when it does, uh, again, it's better that we are prepared and we will work on this a little bit as well at practice as the season goes on. But here's our setup for a four on three. So five on four, we use an overload setup. Five on three, we use a box plus one. And four on three, as you can see, we're going to use what's called a diamond setup. So we got our diamond setup here, and these guys got their triangle setup. And basically, all we want to do is we 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 do want to have uh, these two particular players on their off wings for one timer options. Again, these two guys are going to be uh, the quarterbacks of this uh, particular setup. With the five on three, we have the two guys down low here who are going to run the plays. And on the four on three, it's going to be the two guys on the off wings. Okay, now I'm just going to pass it around and we'll look at a couple of options here. Like I said, I don't want to spend too much time or confuse you guys on this stuff. It rarely happens in a game, especially at your level and your age. But it's very important that we are familiar with the setup. So here we go. Puck goes over here. So again, you, you, we want to move the puck quickly, you know, on the top of the diamond here uh, to see what opens up in front of the net if there's a lane there and you have a good shot this particular guy is very important because he's going to have to rotate over depending on which side the puck is now here's a quick little play that usually works nine out of ten times right because we want to draw a defender out so what could happen here this particular player could step out right just like kind of like the five on three option we can pull this guy if this particular player steps out, this D comes with them, then you open up a passing lane right here to this guy, and he's basically got you know an open net. So um, let's just take kind of a 3D look at this here. All right, so again, puck goes back to the top of the diamond. We switch sides. So again, pucks here. Again, if the if the shot's there, you could take it because we have uh, you know this guy will have to adjust himself as a screen. Uh, again, another option for this guy, like I just explained, is you could step out here for a pass. If this particular defenseman doesn't come with you, then you can easily take that right to the net. If this defenseman does come with you, then this guy could just walk in and shoot. Or like I said, if if you step out here. And this guy steps in, this particular player comes over, then you have a pretty much a cross ice pass here to this guy for an open net. So there, these are little things that we can work on, but I just, like I said, wanted to get you guys familiar with the setup um, and some of the options. Um, again, the most important thing here is, again, good passing, patience, and recognizing um, you know, the high, high percentage scoring opportunities there that are available depending on what the penalty killers give you. All right, boys, so that's it for this one. Uh, we'll talk to you soon.